physical media is going the way of the encyclopedia. That's to say it's obsolete. So today we're taking a look at the top 10 streaming services. Number 10, Hulu. Hulu is a great way to say screw you to broadcast television and quell your rabbit ears fears. Are you worried about missing out on advertisements you get with traditional TV? Hulu's got you covered. They play a ton of them. Are you worried that your kids are sneaking 90 time TV sessions? Hulu plays advertisements at 200% volume, so you'll be alerted when your offspring are being off full. Little brats. If you don't want ads, it'll cost you $11.99 for the service. You could buy 15 ounces of Kraft cheese powder for that price, but you'll already have to have your own nose straw. Number 9. Netflix For decades, Netflix has been the easiest way to get your flicks fix. The best feature is that you can just use your ex-son's login for years and years and he'll never even notice. Except to say, why is my recently watched full of documentaries about the porn industry? Netflix still sends DVDs through the mail to old people, and that's very nice. Their standard service is $12.99 a month. For that price, you could get enough scarves to start your new life as Steven Tyler. Number 8. Amazon Prime Video I don't know, I've heard they have tennis or something. But $119 a year? For that price, you could buy these new legs or these new arms. Number 7. YouTube TV YouTube TV is basically just regular TV at a regular price, but streaming on YouTube. Don't they know that only assholes watch YouTube? Good hardworking American folks already get their TV the regular way. Number 6. Disney Plus Disney Plus what exactly? How am I supposed to know what that equals? I haven't been this confused since I took junior high algebra in prison. I'll tell you one thing that doesn't mix, Disney plus Everclear. I was in a teacup when I upchucked, then those hypocrites kicked me out of the park. What, you're gonna pretend the Mad Hatter was sober? He smelled like marijuana and not the medical kind. For the $6.99 per month that they charge for Disney plus, you could get a girdle that will fit your impressive badonk. Number 5. Apple TV Plus What in the Samwise Hill is going on? When did Edition get so popular? They missed a big chance here to call this service Apple Wormhole, your portal into delicious content. I know, it's a great idea. Number 4. HBO Max Everyone is so excited about HBO Max because they're going to stream Friends. You know what? Get your own friends in real life. That's what I say. Speculators speculate that this service will cost 17 buckaroos a month. You could give that money to a church and maybe it would save your wretched soul. Number 3. CVS All Access Now we're talking. One time I didn't have internet for a year and I had to watch CBS because it was the only signal I could get. Most of the shows were pretty bad. Number 2. Illegal Streaming if you're already pretty sure that you're going to hell, this is a good way to watch almost anything you want. It won't cost you a penny unless you get caught by the FBI. I like to imagine the FBI wearing tutus so I don't get too anxious about that happening. Number 1. Spotify My parents don't let me have much screen time right now because I broke one of the TVs when Gilligan was being particularly stupid on his island. Spotify isn't messing around. They really mean I have unlimited listens. $9.99 is a little expensive to listen to the same Takashi 69 songs over and over and over again, but I couldn't function at the gym without it. This has been Mr. Lift, giving you a list of the top 10 streaming services. Someday we all die, so please subscribe. Leave a comment about what you'd like me to cover next. Bye-bye.